guys, Dan here at Factory 5 again. We're uh, going to be showing you today how to remove the old brakes and install the Willwood brakes as an additional option if that's something you ordered with your kit. Uh, first things first, we're going to have to remove the old 11-inch uh, caliper and rotor assembly that came with your kit. So you're simply going to remove those bolts from the caliper, remove the whole caliper assembly, and then slide the rotor off of the hub. All right guys, now that we have that all removed, we're gonna go ahead and need to assemble the rotor and hat portion of the Willwood brake setup. Now, the hat's gonna need to go onto the rotor, just like in the instructions, and then take the bolts with the washer and thread each one in and tighten those down. You'll notice that there's little holes cut into the head of the bolt. This is for safety wire that's gonna be required to make sure the bolts don't back out while you're driving the car. For this instance, we're going to leave that out since these brakes need to go back on the shelf. Now take note when assembling the rotors that there is a left and right side and they are marked with a directional arrow. That way you know when you're mounting them on the car which side they need to go on. Now once that's all assembled, you're going to need to take the rotor centering ring, slide that onto the hub assembly first and then slide the rotor on. And if you have one handy, take a lug nut, thread that onto the stud to keep the rotor in place before we put the caliper on. Once that's set, you'll need to take the caliper bracket, attach that to the spindle, tightening those bolts down, and then we're gonna need to assemble a caliper assembly. Now, take note that the Willwood brake caliper is a six piston setup and does have four small pistons and two large pistons. The two large pistons need to be on the exiting side of the rotor, meaning in the direction that it's turning, you want to make sure that where the rotor comes out of the caliper, that's where the larger pistons are positioned. Now take note that Willwood does include shims in order to space the caliper left or right to make sure that it's perfectly centered between each of the brake pads. So you'll need to go ahead and make sure that when you slide it on, measure and put in the necessary shims to get everything aligned just right. From here, we'll need to go ahead and put the brake pads into the caliper and slide in the retaining pin. Once that's all set and torqued down, you're all set and your Willwood brakes are now installed. See you next time.